Thundering Willow, call name is Snowball, and she's the mother of the male that we just put on the video, Clyde, and uh, she's the mother of him, and I'll be showing a female that is a sister to him in this video a little later on. This dog is a super, super dog, super intelligent, super smart. And uh, she, is, she has been trained protection dog. She was trained inside security by Larry Jones. He's a nationally known dog trainer that lives uh, not too far from me, the other side of Laurel. And uh, he trained this dog. And she still knows her job. She, you put her inside of a building and uh, she, she's really super good. There was, there was a man that had her trained for his shoe store. They were people robbing him all the time going into his shoe store. And he put her in his shoe store and she stayed in there 18 months that she protected that store and there was not one not even one breaking in to the uh, to the store after they put her inside of the uh, inside of the store. Her voice is it sounds like thunder. She's got a real deep voice, and when anybody would come around, she would just she would bark, and just her voice would just uh, real loud and coarse, and it would just keep the people from from. Uh, it would keep people from going in there because they were scared, scared to go in. This is a real fine dog, real fine. She's a, she's a super dog. And I, I'm planning on breeding her in a, hopefully in a, a couple of, two or three more weeks, I'll be breeding her again. And the puppies out of her is just, it's, it's hard to believe, it's hard to believe the uh, athletic ability these puppies have and the smartness they have. I've had people call me back and tell me it's got puppies out of Snowball and Pete, which is my double bred man of war line of stuff, call me back and tell me that they're the smartest dog that they've ever had and that, uh, and that uh, they would put their dog up against up against anybody's dog for for smartness for intelligence it's a male that I've got he's never been on a leash before by the way and uh, first time that I had him on there and he's a little bit dusty where he is into the pen but this is a male country boy Bill Hines, country boy, is the grandfather of this, and the grandmother is Lady Bird too. The daddy of this male is Boss Man. Mr. Bill Hines, Bossman, is the daddy of this, and the mother is Combat. And uh, Combat is a female out of country boy and ladybird too and this is a male from him which he is three months old three months and three weeks old he weighs 42 pound i just went and weighed him just then he weighs 42 pound and him being three months old three months and one week old and uh he's going to be a big dog he's going to be a huge dog he's got uh he got a good wide front end he's a real active dog He's real wide in the front, and he's gonna have a good head on him. And uh, got a little, he's white with a little bit of brown on one of his ears. And uh, his name is, uh, his registered name is Ghost, and uh, we, his call name is Casper. So he's Casper the Ghost. <coughs> 
fine, fine dog. I'm, that's upcoming breedings that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be breeding him with my double bred, double bred man of war line of dogs and the Williamson Tate cross. I'm going to breed him back over both of those combinations. And this is Bill Hines' two best combinations he's got is a country boy and Boston. I'll be breeding him back over them, and I should get some super, super dogs out of, out of it. Uh, he has a real fine pedigree, and uh, he's a real fine dog. A real fine dog he is. This is a double bred man of war female. She's a lot of dogs, got a lot of muscles. She's been tied a lot. She has to wear it half down, but they're real, real athletic. Eh? If I let them run loose a while, they, they're not, is uh, jump up on you so much. They just, they just want to be around you. <clears throat> this dog is 10 months old and she is so she's so energetic that she keeps a lot of her weight off but you can see the length of her body you can see how long her body is she's got a real nice body and a real nice head and I will uh, I will be breeding her should be in a few months I'll be breeding her. I'll let her go over one time, and uh, in a few months she should be uh, ready to, uh, to to breed. Thunder Jesse and uh, her sire is Thunder Bear and uh, the daddy, the sire of these puppies, she's, she'll have puppies the 14th of April, 14th of this month she'll have puppies which, which is about eight more days she'll have puppies. And she is a really, really athletic, she's real, super fast dog. And she's bred to bully the big white male that I had out here. She's bred to him, and uh, she's really, really a lot of dogs. I had, uh, I sold a seller, a man that owns a cattle ranch, H&H &H cattle farm, up north of here. And he trained, it was a male puppy, he trained the, the puppy to catch cows, to catch cows and bad bulls. And uh, they have a, a rodeo type thing all the time. And, and uh, He'd come down here, he liked the dog so much that he, it, thousands of dollars wouldn't get the mail from him. Said the mail had saved his life and had got him out of a bind a lot of times. He came down here and bought another puppy, a female puppy, from me. And he told one story right after another where the, the male dog that he bought, the male puppy he bought, that he raised and trained to catch cows and, and uh, bad stuff. 
one story right after another where uh, the dog had really, really done, performed and done a good job for him. And he, he was just, he was so happy with the dog to, to he was just about bubbling over. Real fine dog. And uh, she's, a, she's a really, really uh, athletic dog. We trained this dog to, to trail when we shoot a deer and don't get the deer, that we trained her to, uh, to trail the deer up. And I've got a bell in the house that I put on, on her collar and it just rings. You put her on the track of the deer and she just, she'll just go and you can follow the bell. When she gets to the deer, she just grabs that deer and just shakes it. The bell just rings like that and then you can go to the, you can go find your deer to the ringing of the bell. And uh, I've seen her pulling at six months old. She, when she was six months old, I've seen her pulling a seven point buck backwards, dragging him, dragging the deer and her backing up, dragging the deer on the ground. That's a lot of strength in them legs. Her bred the bully, she is, she should have some nice puppies. They should be some that's, that's uh, they should be some that's tall, uh, pretty tall, and uh, and got a pretty good uh, body. They should uh, be some heavy dogs. I've got a lot of people that's got her puppies, and uh, they brag on them to me all the time. Catching hogs and cows. And they make real good protection dogs, and they're real good family-oriented dogs. They love children, too. Got dust on her, too. Her color is a little bit darker than that. It's, that dust just lightens them up a little bit. But she's a real fine dog.